for this experiment, the materials that I used, I found a mango, which I think was about a little over a quarter pound um, when I weighed it at the store. And then I used some twine and then a protractor. And I also had to use some tape um, to keep the string in place on the mango so that way all the string wouldn't fall off. For each of the different lengths on the, um, the string, I measured them out with my six inch ruler and calculated that with the centimeters. And I marked all of the different lengths that were required with Sharpie. So it'd be easy to find um, and recreate the experiment when I had to do different trials and the different degree lengths. I did have to tie extra string on mine so that it would be long enough. I did conduct the experiment with me holding the string rather than tying it to something else. Um, so that required me to have to stand up to perform the experiment um, and pinching the string at the marks that I created. And then I would grab my protractor and I would line up the edge of the protractor, like the middle, to the 90 degrees, and I would pull it out 10 degrees in one direction and then let it go. For the um, 80 and 100 centimeters, I was able to hold the mango and let it go, um, but for the taller ones, I wasn't able to reach it. Um, so that could have affected the data in that the mango kind of dropped and would kind of stop swinging in some spots, like it wouldn't swing as far, which I did notice a difference and I would redo those. Um, and with the taller ones, I did have to stand on a chair so that way it wouldn't touch the floor or hit anything. Um, I utilized my phone stopwatch for this. Um, and when entering the data and calculating everything, I put it to the tenths place, um, rounded up for that. And I did have to utilize assistance of um, my roommate for the stopwatch so that I was able to get an accurate reading since I was standing in a chair, so I could not reach the, um, the phone. So an example of how I did the 80 centimeters at 10 degrees. Um, I would hold the extra string in my hand and line it up like I had mentioned previously, and then grab the mango to 10 degrees and let it swing. I made sure after lining it up to the 10 degrees to um, move the protractor away from the string to avoid any friction that could skew the data or make it slow down um, and affect the amount of time that it would take to do 10 oscillations.